why do we need to pass a function to set state like this rather than this? So the reason behind this is that set state here is an asynchronous operation. Uh, let me just update this real quick. All right, let's just comment this. And I'm going to copy and paste this multiple times. So now I save it. And what happened if I click on the button, right? So by default, the count here is set to zero, plus one, plus one, and the other one. So we are expecting the result is three, right? And down here we have a button. So we click on that. We expect to see the result is three. But now let's have a look first. So I'm going to click on this increment here and look at the number here. It is showing one rather than three. So the result is not expected at all. So calling set state multiple times in a row like this, it is not going to reflect immediately on the UI. And React may batch multiple set state call into just a single update for performance reasons. So the set state here won't give you the expected result. So to fix this issue, right, let's just comment this out. And then here we're going to use the function instead in the set state with the previous state as an argument here. So now let me just copy this and paste this two times. All right. So we have the set state here as the first argument. And down here, we have the count, the same as the above, right? We are now using the function in the set state. So let's see the result now. So I'm going to click on the increment button. And as expected, the result is now correct by three every time I click on this button. So yep, that is the reason why we need to pass a function to set state rather than just using the object.